Hello everyone, welcome back to the VMP Performance YouTube channel. My name is Michelle and I'm going to talk to you about data logging your vehicle. Data logging is something that typically goes hand in hand when modifying your vehicle and it allows your tuner to refine and dial in your tune to your specific car. I'll be going over an example ticket of our data logging instructions, which includes a link to this video and the software that you will need to data log your vehicle. You can see that we have the data logging video instructions that you're watching now, step-by-step -step instructions that are very detailed in case you need them, along with the software that you'll need to download. Here is the live link software you can download just by clicking it, and also the device updater software you will also need in the future. For most applications, we will be sending out a configuration file that will lay out the parameters we need to see. This will always be attached to the data logging instructions that we send you. It can be downloaded here. So now that you have your software and configuration file downloaded, it's time to move out to the car. Now that you're at the car, you're going to want to connect your device to both your vehicle and your laptop. You'll have your USB cable connected to your laptop and plugged into your device. You'll see that your, your device will power on. Then you'll have your OBD cable connected to your OBD2 port and also to the top of the SCT device. Now that you have your device connected, you'll need to start the vehicle and then check communications. Once communication is established, you will then be able to load the configuration file that you saved earlier. You will see all of the parameters that need to be recorded in the left column. From there, you will be able to start the data log once your vehicle is up to operating temperature. Once you have your configuration file loaded and all the parameters are displayed, and the vehicle is completely up to operating temperature, you can begin your log. The initial log we request is a single log that consists of about 15 seconds of idle and a slow rev up to about 6,000 RPM. You can start the log by pressing the green button here. Once the log has started recording, you can see the graphs and lines displayed in the screen. You will see the time that you are recording here. We will let the car idle for about 15 seconds. Now we will begin the slow rev. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the slow rev, you'll basically just be applying pressure to the pedal over about a 20 second span so that we can see a smooth transition through the RPM range, like so. Once the car is returned back to idle, you can stop the log by clicking the red button here. Once you have stopped your data log, you can save it by clicking the Save button here. It's important that you click Save All and not Save View. It's also important to save the data log somewhere that you will be able to find it later. We also have a preferred naming convention that allows us to locate your file with ease later. Last name, the type of fuel used, the type of log, the date, and your X4 number. So once you have your data log saved, you'll want to send that file to your tuner in the same email chain that you've been working with them in. So now that we're back to this email chain, you can reply to the email by clicking the reply button here or the one found below. I would suggest writing a short response out to your tuner along with your file. You can attach your data log by clicking the paperclip found here. You'll want to use the side menu to scroll up to desktop where you should have saved your file. In case your file explorer doesn't look quite like ours, you can change the view to list by clicking this button here. Then you can click on your file and open it by clicking the open button found here. Once your file is attached, you can send your email by clicking send. We hope that this video helped you through the data logging process. If you want to see more informational videos like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to VMP Performance.